Hi folks, so yesterday OpenAI released the operator tool, which essentially is a, an agent that solves tasks by driving a web browser. And so similar to how a human being might address a task, they'll go to a website, they click around, they enter a bunch of information. Um, underneath, we just have an agent that's sort of driven by a large language model or a generative AI model that sort of implements the same kind of thing. Um, it's a pretty powerful paradigm. Um, but more importantly, um, how might we build something like this locally using a framework like Autogen? And that's what we're going to talk about today. To get started, I think there are three high level things we're going to cover today. First, installation. So this is a really important part. Um, start out with a Conda environment, a completely new Python environment, install the right dependencies. Next, we select a pattern. And in this case, we're going to use a group chat pattern. What that means is that we define a set of agents um, and we let them solve tasks by exchanging messages. The third part is that we define our agents. And so in this case, we'll use three separate agents, a multimodal web surfer agent. Um, this, is just, this is just an agent that can sort of drive um, a browser instance underneath. Next, we'll have just a verifier assistant agent. It has a large language model and its goal is mostly to sort of oversee the progress of the task and to sort of figure out if the task is complete. And then finally, we have a user agent and the goal here is to sort of provide a mechanism for um, the entire uh, setup to sort of request human feedback. So there might be times where um, there are preferences that are needed or let's say things like credentials. And so um, at that point, um, the entire system delegates to um, the user proxy agent. So to get started, I do recommend that you create a new uh, virtual environment. And so in this case, there's an example code that shows how to use um, Conda to do that. Next, it's important that you install all of the dependencies that we need for, um, for this project. So in this case, it's pip install dash u autogen dash agent chat, um, agent autogen x with the open AI and web surfer extras. Um, please don't use some other package like PyOtogen or something else. Um, those are not the right official packages to use for this specific uh, workflow. Okay, um, next we import all of the uh, classes we will need. And so let's walk through what each of the, uh, each line of code does. So across each of the agents, we'll need a model client. So we're going to use the OpenAI models. And one thing to note is that um, an example like this works best with models that um, have very strong instruction following capabilities. So if you're using smaller models, uh, local hosted models, you might not get the same results. The next interesting thing is termination conditions. And so this tells um, our multi-agent system when to end uh, the interaction. So in this case, we have like a combination termination condition. So it's either it's a maximum of 20 messages exchanged. And so as each of the agents sort of interact um, and sort of make progress, um, we either stop when we have at least 20 messages or when any of the agents uh, respond with the word terminate. Next, we will instantiate our web surfer agent. And so this is the agent that does most of the heavy lifting. And so underneath it uses um, a browser instance, a Chromium browser instance, and it sort of drives that instance to accomplish tasks. And we'll look, take a look at that. Next, we have an assistant agent and here it mostly acts as a verifier. And so if you take a look at the system message, it says that you're a task verification assistant. Um, and at each point, your job is to check if the task has been completed as requested by the user. And so if the task is not yet complete, you should respond with what is left to do. So outstanding tasks. And if it's complete, you sort of respond with terminate. Then we have something called the selector prompt. And so all of these agents, they will live within a container called the selector group chat container. And the prompt here just decides how uh, this container determines which agent sort of responds next as they sort of iterate on that. And so if you look at this, uh, the prompt here, it says um, whenever the task needs um, input from a human user, you should schedule uh, the user proxy agent and also um, 
the assistant agent will be tasked with verifying the information of the actions uh, provided by the web server agent. I'd always encourage you to sort of take a look at all of these prompts because they sort of govern the behavior of, um, of the agents. Then finally, we have a user proxy agent. And so this will get called in situations where um, the assistant agent is unable to verify um, the work done by the web software agent, or let's say um, additional information is required like preferences or let's say credentials, that sort of thing. And then finally, we put all of the agents into a selector group chat um, container. So this is a, um, I'd encourage you to look at the documentation for the selector group chat and sort of get yourself familiar with um, how that works. So we have a web server agent, an assistant agent, and user proxy agent. We set a selector prompt, give it a model client, and a termination condition. And then we could ask it a question like, um, who is Victor DBA and what papers has he written? And we can run that right away and sort of see what the, the entire system does. And so at the back, um, in the background, um, an entire browser instance is being spun up and it starts at the Bing search uh, window. And then it navigates to Bing search, puts in um, a search query, Victor DBA papers. And then here we see that the assistant agent re responds and says the task is not yet complete. Um, we need uh, to figure out all the papers. And so it clicks into my website. Um, it looks at uh, the web server clicks into the website. It sort of like looks at all the content, puts it back in chat. And at this point, the assistant agent responds and says, uh, the task has been fully completed. Um, the web page provides information about Victor DBS, summarizes it, puts in my recent publications and it responds with terminate and the task is done. Um, so this is, this is an example of a task where, you know, no input was required from me or the user. And so um, both of these agents, the web surfer and the assistant agent, they pretty much just collaborated uh, to solve the task. Now let's do something that might need a bit more interaction. Let's say book me a flight to San Diego, San Diego for next week. So this is clearly under specified and so here, I just mentioned book me a flight to San Diego for next week. I have no information about like my um, my source and destination locations. And essentially I haven't said anything about like the times and all of that. So let's see what the agents do, agent does. Okay. So it says um, at this point, <laughs> it comes back and says, you know, to move forward, we need to select what platform we're going to use, um, select the departure city, uh, choose a flight that suits preferences. And I might say something like, um, I'd like to use Expedia. Um, we are departing from San Jose and I'd love a flight that leaves at night. And essentially the rest of the conversation uh, progresses. In this case, uh, the web surfer goes to Expedia and ideally you'll sort of see it sort of click around, enter all the information that's required. So here it's putting San Jose to San Diego, which is correct. So here it says there was an issue loading the Expedia page. Um, there's a chance that there, there's some timeout issues. Um, and at this point we could just terminate just for demonstration sake. 